Good morning and happy. What are we doing today, buddy? Let's win. Oh, we're, we're going, going on, on a cruise. cruise. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> are you so excited? We have been talking about this all week. Uh, we're very, very excited. We can't wait to go. Uh, so we're on our way to the port, Port Canaveral. Yeah, we're going to get on the Disney Fantasy. And we're doing an Eastern Caribbean cruise? Yes. Yeah, we haven't done this one before. No. So it's pretty, pretty exciting. So and we're going on our favorite ship. Get ready for seven days of cruise action. Cruise, it's going to be cruise week. Cruise week. We haven't done this in a while. Let's do it. Cruise week. Cruise week. Let's go. <laughs> time I think so it's a uh, 11 29 so you have to show up based on your group number we're in a lower group number so we got to be here at an earlier time there's the line to actually get in the building to check in all right so we just dropped off our luggage it was pretty quick and painless didn't have to wait long at all no yeah and so I did want to uh, also let you know in case you weren't aware but you should definitely tip the guys who take your bags we usually recommend like a couple bucks for each bag we had six bags and we tipped 20 bucks so parking for the week is 145 dollars and 52 cents so you can either go across the bridge to get to the terminal and then take the escalator down or there's a little crosswalk here and we're going to take the crosswalk all right we're going to check in now Ooh, this is exciting buddy Ooh, this is my first time seeing a pearl sign look at that we are going to concierge though so let's go Inside that secret room over there, buddy. Do it to it, walk over it. Good job. There's Captain Minnie. So although there's not a huge line to get in there, boarding groups one through 15, we're concierge, so we're going through like kind of a, a back way here. We'll probably stop and get some photos first though, right? All right, Jackson, what name are you gonna tell them when you get up to the microphone? Jackson Storm? Yeah. All right. Because that's your costume. That's right, bud. Go ahead, buddy, run in there. Yay! Woo! Yeah, nice work, bud. Oh, Halloween on the high seas. Look at this, we've got pumpkins everywhere. Oh, how I've missed you, Disney Fantasy. Look at these decorations they've got in the windows. We are staying concierge, so we are going into Royal Court for our lunch. Hello! And this will be one of our dining rotations. You can see it's themed to royalty. Is that Ariel and Eric? Look at them getting married. There they are, the Beast and Belle. This is interesting because this bell in this mural kind of looks like the bell from the live action. All right, so here's what we have for the menu here in the concierge lunch. Ooh, I don't know. I think I'm going to get this muffaletta. I always get this muffaletta sandwich. And it's delicious. I feel like I've had that beef tenderloin before. Oh, but this is what I'm all about right here. The welcome aboard Sunday. Yes. Then we've got what we can get for Jackson here. We can get mac and cheese, cheeseburger, chicken strips, and barbecue sauce, or the, the grilled chicken. All right, we did it. We've made it onto the ship. We're here. Okay. We're here. I yes, know, we're, we're getting here. your food That's right now. That's what we're now. here to do. We're here to eat. So this restaurant is where you would normally have the, um, like the royal, this is where the princesses would come around. Right. So the last time we were here, we saw like Cinderella. They always have like a um, a piano player that's yeah. really amazing. Or a violinist. We had a violinist oh. one time. But this is like one of the most beautiful restaurants on board. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah, there's the rest of them. There's Cinderella over there. Who's this? Sleeping Beauty. You want to see the happiest baby right now? Hi, Oliver. <laughs> so we were we were testing out this stroller for the cruise. It's a little bit smaller than his regular stroller easier to travel with and um, it's still a little bit too big for him. Females! Wow, that's perfect! Wow, you've done that before. <laughs> so they were nice enough to get Jackson some pizza from up at Animator's Palette. So, we did it. What do you think? It we looks got so pizza. cool! I guess this was from... Pizza! 
from up on deck 11. Yeah, they got it from uh, around the pool. Yeah, but it's funny because it's on an animator's palette. Wait, all right, here's what I got. My very first thing is a beef empanada. I'm going to cut it open so you guys can see what's inside of it, but I wanted to show you. Oh, I got the um, potato and leek soup oh. with a little soda bread. I already broke the bread apart. Oh, man, look at that bowl has a leek in it. Oh, no. But I also got the lobster, poached lobster salad with avocado. Because one of the vegetables that's in there is called a leek. You being silly. L E E K. <laughs> but if the bowl was leaking, it'd be L E A K. He was being right? very silly. There's a whole Gallagher skit on this. <laughs> and then we also got the mix salad with balsamic vinaigrette. All right, here's the inside of our empanada, the beef empanada, with some red chimichurri there. Yeah, I can see at least one onion in there, and I think some green peppers as well. So I ordered the leek and potato soup because the last time we went on the Wish, one of my favorite things at Marceline Market was the leek soup. And I, I feel like it's the same soup. Yeah, it's very good. I love the leek and potato soup. Definitely recommend. So I've had some of my leek and potato soup. It was very good. It has, it's kind of like heavily flavored of black pepper, but it is delicious. And then I'm gonna have some of my poached uh, lobster salad, which has red onion, fingerling potatoes, asparagus, cucumber, poached lobster, of course, greens, and like a citrus vinaigrette. It looks very yummy. There's kind of like a nice portion of lobster too. There's avocado in there as well. All right, so we are just looking over the itinerary to see all the fun things that Jackson's gonna do in the kids club, the Oceaneers club. And, um, oh, but food, food did come. Our entrees did come. So I got the beef tenderloin. This looks amazing. It's in a, uh, like a demi-glaze, like a jus on the bottom there. I've got some crispy celeroc, some mashed parsnips and some sauteed mushrooms. This is more like hearty than I thought it was gonna be. This is a pretty big meal. I got the muffaletta sandwich. Oh yeah, look at this. We love a muffaletta sandwich. With a little dipping sauce for it too. Is that a mustard? Let's see. Yeah, oh, that's a mustard. It's like a honey mustard. Mm, that's delicious. Ooh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. That's funny. <laughs> this is the, what is this called? Like the sail away Sunday? The welcome aboard Sunday. Welcome aboard. So it's home. chocolate, sponge cake, caramel. Whipped cream. Yeah. What's that on top? Is that like chocolate cake? Mm, it just tastes like... I don't know. I don't know what the flavor is. All right. What is it? Uh, pecan caramel cupcake. Oh, oh. pecan caramel cupcake. I, I get it now. I get the flavor now. There we go. Well, and I get the, the hot molten pot with, with hazelnut gelato. Hazelnut gelato. Oh, we came down or came up to deck five for the Oceaneer Lab. Yeah. This is the magic play floor. Look at that. Go run across it. Whoa, look at that. He's just enjoying the magic play floor. He could do this all day long. There's a craft studio. There's some bathrooms back here. A wheelhouse. What are they showing? Oh, this is a uh, Cusco, right? The Emperor's New Groove. Oh, there's an animator's studio over here. All kinds of different fun toys and things in here. Not toys, I guess these would be like maquettes for you to draw. Oh, well, then you can trace. So you put this up here so you can see through it and then you can draw it on a piece of paper. Neat. Or maybe you like color it. Ooh, they're asking me questions. What is this animal? That's a mouse. All right, I'm good. I know the answers to this. There's just like these little interactive tables here in the middle of the area. You want to watch the Emperor's New Groove with me? What happened to your hat? You had a hat earlier. Whoa, this is a very squishy chair, buddy. I almost fell down off of it. Wow. Just watching Emperor's New Groove. Kind of like a transition area here with a bunch of tables. So we just came from over there. That was where the main Ocean Air Club is. Oh, we can look out. What do you see? Do you see our car? Should we go this way? Let's see. What else is there? Oh, there's like a cool little seats here. The bathrooms. Star Wars area, look at this. You can push all kinds of buttons. It can be a Star War. Wow, well, there's like a hologram here. Wild. Yeah, I think he like is control of the X-Wings and the X-Wings fly out here. Like it's like a teamwork type thing. Like some people are at this station, some people are at this station, other people's are here. I'm trying to command a, a successful mission. We're in the toys room, like in Andy's room right now. And Jesse is here. Also, Mr. Potato Head's here. You gonna give her a wave, Jackson? She's right behind Slinky over there. You gonna give her a high five? He's like slowly right. walking away. Jackson was more interested in RC. That's what he was more excited about. Oh, 50 bazillion dollar reward for One-Eyed Bart. Oh no, One-Eyed Bart's not One-Eyed Bart anymore. I like the little detail of Rex being through the cardboard box and then his tail being up here. 
Marvel Superhero Academy in here too. Whoa. This is, oh, look at this. This is where you'll come and you'll meet Thor and he'll teach you how to be worthy. Wow. Look at this, the Tesseract. All right, all kinds of different, there's, there's uh, Black Panther's mask. Wow, lots of stuff. Ooh, this is the, the thing, the Bifrost, right? You can go to all these different places. Whoa, that's a big screen. All right, so Jackson's all done doing open house with Oceaneer Club or Oceaneer Lab. That was Oceaneer Lab. Oceaneer Club is this other side over here. There's two different sides. The second side that we went into is Oceaneer Club. I know it's confusing. I'll explain it a little bit more when it's not open house and we're just walking by. Maybe when we're just dropping Jackson off. But we're headed up to the room now because time to go check out the room. So I absolutely love Halloween on the high seas, especially because they're just playing all Halloween music. It's great. People are still kind of, oh look, there's Daisy down there, buddy. You wanna go see Daisy? Yeah, there she is. All right. Do you want to take a photo with just you and her? Oh, she wants to hold your hand. There you go. Right at this camera. These windows are spider webs over here. Look at that. But they're like pearls. Interesting. Oh, because we're at port, one of the lifeboats is down and we can see inside of it. So this is what the lifeboats look like on the inside. Interesting. I had no idea. Do you sit like one on top of the other? How does this work? Huh. Wow. Also, there's the Mariner of the Seas over there. It is a beautiful day out. It's 84 degrees. The breeze is blowing. Woo! I feel good. All right. So, like I said, we are concierge. So, we're headed down here. Concierge guests. Oh, why are you done? Straight down, buddy. We're not going to the lounge, we're going to the room. Our room's down at the end of this hallway. The lounge is right there. Uh, that's sort of, yeah. It's just on the other side of these windows over here. Yeah, you see these windows right here? These round windows? That's where the lounge is. Right there. Yeah. Do you want a little cookie or something while we're passing by? Yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if my magic band gets us in there. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Look at that push we will show you more of what's in the concierge lounge just not right now we're going to the room but jackson got a little cookie and he got some chocolate rocks right bud i just ate them all you just ate all the chocolate rocks yeah. were they rocks or were they chocolate both, both. oh my goodness mm -hmm. ah, ah oh no you dropped the cookie oh no now i need this one to try oh <laughs> i would eat it still oh. I just went to get an iced coffee from oh. the concierge lounge. I met Mark and Steve. They just got off a transatlantic cruise. Oh. Yeah, which sounds, I don't think this I would like ours. it, but it. Uh, they said it was great. Okay. So, yeah. You this is the, ours. All the Halloween music. Yeah, you should have heard the music they were playing in the kids club. I think the baby might be asleep. Oh, let's be very quiet, yeah. Jackson. Thank you. All right. So we just met all of our neighbors. But we're heading into the Walt suite. Put on my lights here. As soon as you walk in, nice little spot for you to put your keys and stuff like that. A mirror to check your fit before you leave. I have to be a little bit quiet as we're touring through because the baby is asleep down the hall down there. Um, this leads into the center vestibule between, there's a room between the two suites. Oh, we just met the people that were staying in there too. I don't know what this is. What's in here? Oh, there's a little closet right here. Like a little coat closet. That's nice. And then of course there is a kitchen in here full-size sink there is a dishwasher which would be nice to have espresso machine full-size refrigerator let me turn on a light here boop boop uh, we got a microwave full-size refrigerator stocked with any sort of sodas or anything you might want Dasani cans I'm gonna ask for some sparkling water too um, freezer and of course in the bottom drawer Mickey premium bars I'm gonna see how many I, I can eat on this cruise. There's gonna be a few of them. A little trash can, like I said, uh, espresso machine. It took us a while to figure this out, the last cruise that we were on, but I think I remember how to do it. Plates and stuff like that. Bowls. Where are the coffee cups? Right? Maybe over here. There they are, little espresso cups and spoons and coffee cups. Yeah, full-size sink so we can wash off any sort of food or anything that we've got. The thermostats are 
uh, hard to do. Like there's no like number, it's just one through six. <laughs> All right, so let me head out here. There's another little closet, I think. Oh, I think this leads to the other room. Yeah, see that's, this leads to the other room. There's another room on the other side there that this could connect to, yes. Is that a milk? No, it's water. Oh, it's water. Yeah. There's a, what is this? It's just like drawers and stuff in here. You could store all kinds of stuff in here. Also, they do provide a diaper genie and a pack and play. And these are the sheets and stuff like that for the pack and play. All the art is like Mickey's, but it's what is this, Art Deco or Art Nouveau. One of the two. There's a hall bathroom here. You have, I like this toilet because there's so much more room in front of it compared to other toilets on the ship. Just a little single sink. Elemis body and hand lotion. And then they have bar soap here. And then the shower is like, it's pretty roomy in here. Like a nice roomy shower. This is the one we'll give Jackson a shower in because it has this handheld shower that we can drop all the way down. I don't know how to do it right now. I gotta figure that part out. But we can drop it all the way down to his height. So I'll have a little shower of his own. It'll be perfect. And of course all the Elemis stuff. And then we always get these things. And Jen loves them. It's like a, a soap infused sponge. And then this is for hanging up your your wet bathing suits. Also, there is a rainfall shower head in the ceiling as well. I like this, just a random crab made out of sand and then some seashells. Full size mirror for you to check your fit. So you can check your, your outfit here and then check your outfit there before you leave. Just making sure that everything is good to go. And we head into the main living area of the room. Very large, nice and spacious. You've got a huge, you have a, a large table with what, what, eight seats at it. Um, there are two sleeping areas here. You can see there's these curtains that kind of go around and block it off. So there's a bed here that folds down that is a twin bed and then there is a full-size bed over here that folds. It actually looks like it's a queen-size bed that folds down over there. And panoramic windows. You could, of course, close these off, but they go all the way around over there. So when they are open, lots and lots of light. Big comfy couch to watch your TV. Of course, because this is the Walt suite, there's a lot of train stuff. So Walt loved trains. So we've got a picture of Walt standing with his train. And then we've got some books about lighthouses 50 places to sail before you die we should probably read that picture dra train books and these are like actual books you can pull these out and read them and go through them they're not like just prop pieces uh the complete book of north american railroading amazing wait the world's best sailboats i thought for a second because it's kind of faded i thought it was like the world's best salutations i'm just getting lots of doorbell rings that was just our room host and he brought us some pellegrino That'll go in the refrigerator. There is also a pass-through to the kitchen here. Oh, there's also teas in the kitchen. I didn't show you that, but there's loose leaf tea in the kitchen. So you can make little teas. Uh, I assume that you just use the espresso machine to make hot water. There's no kettle or anything like that. Let me go back into the kitchen because there's something that I missed. This is what I missed. Lumps of sugar and Mickey-shaped sugar. Look at that for your tea or your coffee. Another thing that I'm noticing is that the last time we were on this ship, nothing was labeled like this. Like all of these switches are labeled so you know exactly what each one does. And I, that's the first time I've seen anything like that telling you what each switch does. So like I said, there's a pass through here. Lots of storage on the ship or in this room. Uh, oh, this doesn't stay closed. Uh-oh. We'll leave it like that. Um, lots of stuff. I don't know what you would put in here. Like if you had something to, dis to display. I get it, it's just like an aesthetic thing, but it seems kind of silly for a guest room to have a glass shelf and a glass like display shelf with nothing in it. This is telling you all about the different things. The concierge lounge and sun deck. Important crib safety information. What's this? Oh, this is all of our uh, stationery. It's got Postcards and stuff that we can take with us, pens, uh, tips for traveling with lithium batteries. 
just a ton of napkins. I love that. That's Jen's cup. That's not included in the in the in the room. The seller, I don't know what this Coca-Cola is doing here, but I think we're going to take it because it's a 25th anniversary Coca-Cola for the cruise line. We're not on a 25th anniversary sailing. That only lasted like one month. So it was very few 25th anniversary sailings. But at least we still have some 25th offerings here. But the whole reason they have this seller sign here is because down here is wine. This is like a wine thing here. And you can have any of these wines. You do have to pay for them. Here is the price of them. So there's like Dom Perignon and stuff like that. Skywalker Ranch. Ooh, fancy. There's two levels of it. Let's let us have a look. The Dom Perignon, $260 for the bottle. Let's see it in here. There it is right there. Vintage 2012. I like wine glasses and stuff. Lots of shelving. Caribbean houses. That would be nice to look at. Visions of Paradise. National Geographic. I like that this is, this like bookend is a train. These don't move, so you don't have to worry about that, but the books do move. You can take the books out. Still, lots of storage everywhere. Because like we said, this is a bed. So if you're sleeping here, you can store all of your stuff here. And when they pull down the bed, you'll see there are plugs behind there that you can use for like charging your phone and things like that. Um, let's make our way around. They did, set us up with a little charcuterie here some cheeses and nuts and fruits a cheese and fruit plate and some crackers uh lots of storage out here more storage than anybody could ever use on any cruise that you're going on like every single one of these is opens up and is storage and then from the living room we head behind these sliding doors and that leads us into the bedroom and truth be told, this is actually the last night of the cruise. Time travel! So we have been living in this for a few days now. But this is the queen size bed here. It's got storage underneath, which is very nice. Um, what else do we got here? Got some, oh, a porgy. There are USBs on the side as well as two plugs. And this is something that was hard to find is there are some switches underneath here for the reading lights, the, bed light, the bedside sconce, these. And it's kind of nice actually being here on the last day because we can understand all of the different things, all the different switches, some stars in the ceiling. Uh, this was our gift for being gold castaway club members. We got a wet dry bag, we got a big cruise bag, and then we got these lanyards here. Um, it is a small TV in here. There's a vanity here with a, a pretty small mirror on it. And then uh, some storage over here as well as a nice vase, vase on display. There is a curtain that goes around the entire bed. And when we first got in here, I was like, why is there a curtain that goes around the bed? And the answer is because the windows out here, they do frost, but there's no curtains here. So when the, uh, the sun rises, the sun does come in through these windows. So they put curtains around the bed to help block out the light. Also helps with some noise too. Um, lots of storage underneath the TV. There are, these cabinets all throughout here are all closet space. So, you know, we've got some stuff hanging in here. It is a little bit strange that it's front to back rather than side to side. And then there's more storage underneath down there. A full size mirror so you can check your fit. Here's mine. Uh, a little stool here for you to, I don't know, put shoes on maybe. More storage over here. The same switches are on this uh, this side of the bed, or I should say there are switches on this side of the bed for everything, for ceiling, this vanity, and this uh, the stars. But then there's also the bedside, what are those called? Bedside sconce lights here. And then this I thought was really interesting because there's some hidden storage here, where if you can get in there and open it, there it is. So rotating shelves underneath for you to store all your valuables. Or hide them away but it is a little bit hard to open and then we head into the bathroom here and I know what you're thinking you're thinking Tim there are windows in the bathroom what there's no privacy no privacy at all but on the wall here there's a little switch here this is balcony and if I push it they frost so these are LCD panels 
when they charge, you can see it's taken a little bit of time for them to actually frost over. These have done a much better job than this first one, but yeah, they've been unfrosted all day. So if they stay frosted, they become more and more frosted and more and more opaque as the day goes on. There is a mirror here. These sinks, double sink here, the faucet's real close here. So I wouldn't use this sink to wash my face. There's another sink in the toilet room that I would use. There is a remote control for the TV in the mirror, which we might not be able to see right now because it is daytime. But that's so that when you're sitting in your jacuzzi tub, you can sit back and watch some TV. You can see it just barely turned on. I don't know, even know if you guys can see that. It's a lot easier to see at night. And lots of storage here, or some, some good amount of storage here. There is a scale underneath there so you can weigh your luggage. Of course, more stars on the ceiling in here. There is a shower here with a handheld. This is another window that will frost when you switch that switch. Uh, a little seat back there for you to sit on, as well as the rainfall shower head. And originally, I didn't know if this was a steam shower, but it is. So there's the steam. The steam comes out down there, and you, when you turn this on, it's a Mr. Steam. You can set it to whatever temperature you want. Um, and his Bulgari um, like shower gel and shampoo and conditioner, which before it was just Elemis. That's all we've ever seen in concierge, but for whatever reason, in here, Bulgari. There you go. And this one I thought was also interesting because it's a shampoo and shower gel not just a shampoo. And then we head into the toilet room and this room is vast for a toilet room on a cruise ship. And there's a bigger sink in here, a better, the sink is further away. So you can use this to wash your face a little bit easier access to the water coming out. The only thing that I will say is that even though this room is big and a lot bigger than the one in the Roy suite, the toilet is centered on this wall, but that kind of puts you up against this sink right here. So the best toilet to use is the bathroom at the front of the room. That's got the most space in it. There are lots of like towel bars, littler towel, towel bars, and then towel hooks on the doors. So lots of places to store your towels. I do like this peacock vase here too. Nice little alcove with some art in it. And from the bedroom, let's go outside and have a look at our favorite part of the room the veranda. Side note, look at these trains. Oh, we also have, let me show you these plugs because that's something that's nice about the Fantasy is the Fantasy's newer, so it does have USBs on it. And then they have the higher voltage plug for the, uh, the people that do the vacuuming, the housekeeping, you use that, and then you can use it for a hairdryer or something like that. And then they have multi-plugs so you don't really need a converter to use the plugs, which is nice. So another nice little touch here is in the center of the table. These are fresh flowers, fresh cut flowers. Very cool. All right, let's go out on the veranda. So this is the whole reason that we get this room. The room is expensive, but this makes it worth it. It's just having, this is out on the front of the ship. So we sail in this direction and just having the hot tub out here Lots of seating out here. My parents are on this cruise with us. And so every time that we have one of these rooms and my parents are with us, we just spend a lot of time around this table right here, sitting on these chairs, hanging out, the breeze in our hair, and just relaxing. And it's the best. And this, this veranda does wrap around a good ways. So like we said, the rooms do connect. So if somebody wanted to, if somebody was wild, they could rent out five rooms in the front of the ship. So there's one here. The room that we're in there's a room between the two rooms the two suites the roy suite and then there's another mirrored room like this one over there as well so you can have five connecting rooms on the and they will open up all the doors on the veranda so you can connect all the verandas together if you wanted to then we can look up this is this is a public space up here so people could be out here probably during sail away we'll see people up there because they'll be looking out over the edge as we sail forward. Still, I always love seeing this whenever we come here because people always bonk their heads. So they have to put padding there. Because it is low, it's like a low ceiling as you're getting into the hot tub. Let's see, let's feel how the hot tub feels. Ooh, 
Very hot. Very warm. There are the controls over there. I don't know how to do it, but there are the controls. Also, it seems impossible, but one day I would love to be on a cruise and watch a rocket launch. Because right there, that's the VIB. This is Kennedy Space Center right over the, right off the bow, or right off the port side here. And you can see all of these launch pads. There's a launch pad there, there's a launch pad here. This is all SpaceX over here. There's like more launch pads over yonder. It's just like it, you would have such a good view of a rocket launch from a cruise ship if you could time it just right. So after the room tour, we decided to come down to the concierge lounge, have a look and see what kind of food offerings they have, little snacky snacks. So let's see, we've got cookies here. We've got a pecan tart, a little cupcakes there. It's a, a strawberry vanilla panna cotta, tiramisu verine, of course apples, grilled chicken sandwich, chilled beef tenderloin salad, saffron lassi, lemongrass marinated shrimp, California vegetable sandwich on marble bread, marinated fenna and feta cheese. So back in the room, and when we were in the concierge lounge, yeah. oh, Jackson wanted to be loud so he came out here. Baby brother is still asleep. Um, when we were in the concierge lounge, you met somebody else named Jackson. Yeah, the what same did, Jackson. What did he give you? A ducky. A ducky. Did you know that on the cruise ship, they do these things called duck hunts, where people will bring rubber ducks on the cruises and they will put them throughout the cruises. They'll hide them places and your job is to find them. You think you could try to find more on this? on this trip? Yeah. Let's see how many we can find. So uh, when we're walking around, going to dinner and stuff like that, and especially up to the sail away party, I keep an eye out for ducks. Okay? So there's also another thing that people do on Disney cruises that are called fish extenders. So outside of your room is a thing called a fish. That's where they, it's like, a, it's a fish. It looks like a fish. That is where they will put like your room keys when you first get on the ship so you can get into your room. Any sort of information for an excursion that you have coming up, you'll find that in the, well, like attached to your fish or like stuck in your fish. But what people do is they fashion something to hang from the fish and that's what is extending the fish. So that creates, it's like po pockets, that creates more places to put things, thus extending the fish. So normally the fish would hold a note or a letter or something about your excursion. Now you have extended it to have different areas or different things that can hold more objects or more things. So what you do is you go on Facebook and you find a specific group for your sailing, for your ship, and you register with the fish extender group and you get buddies. And you, it's kind of like a secret Santa where you find out another party's room number and you get them little gifts. And then they get you little gifts or they give somebody else on the ship little gifts. And you go through in the middle of the night or during dinner and you come through and you leave little gifts and then when they come back to the room in their fish extenders there's little gifts like a fun little it's almost like christmas right we'll have to do it one time buddy it'll be fun no i want somebody else to do it one time. okay other people are doing it right now if we are passing by throughout this video series if we see a duck we'll show it to you guys if we see a fish extender we will show it to you so you guys can see what i'm talking about also the rooms, the doors to the rooms are made of metal. So what people will do is they'll buy magnets to kind of decorate their room so that one can remember where their rooms are. Two, to help people find their fish extenders, find out where they are. And three, just to kind of like have decorations. Personalize your cruising What's experience. The decorations are not? We didn't bring any magnets, but we can find some magnets. They sell, Disney started selling magnets that go on your door. So we can do it. You want to do it? You want to see if there's magnets? The thing about the shops is they don't open until we're sailing, until we're out in international waters, so you don't have to pay taxes. Like right now, if they opened up the shops, we'd be paying taxes in Merritt Island. But if we go out to sea, we're not paying taxes. I was just looking at the Navigator app, and I realized that you can change your name to whoever you chat with. Oh, I need to do that. I need to change the name. See what I changed it to, I changed it to Cool Dad Cruise Guy. This opportunity to remind our guests that our safety drill has begun. Every guest, regardless of age or how many times they have cruised with us before, must register at their assigned assembly station. All right, so we did the muster drill. Yeah. Now we're headed out to deck 11. We're going to check Jackson's height, and then we're going to see the sailaway party. All right, we're here for the deck party. We've got one pool deck, or one pool still open. So this will be the sailaway party. But we're going to check Jackson's height for the aqua duck because he's been very excited to ride it. I hope you're tall enough. You're definitely tall enough to ride this yellow slide. Let's go check actually your height for the yellow slide. Good news, we just checked Jackson's height and he's tall enough 
Actually, let's go show that. We need to find a spot for the for the show. I'm gonna try to get down there to watch it. All right, for the aqueduct, 42 inches. He's not wearing any shoes. No, get down on your flat feet. Put your head straight. There you go, you're hitting your head. Look at that, perfect. I dropped my sticker. Probably a better spot to stand, but this is nice and in the shade because we're behind, the sun's behind that one support right there. So we're gonna watch the sail away party. Here's a couple of crazy guys that are up on I missed them all. We'll hear them again as we're leaving Castaway Key. So we are officially sailing away. But now what we're gonna do is because Jackson was very excited to slide on the slide, we're gonna go get our bathing suits on. We're gonna make one trip down the slide, the aqueduct, before dinner. Look at the line for ice cream right they really now. They really do create better magicians. Yeah. This is great. I love Dizzy Cruising. So good. Oh, a couple of towel animals in here. Yeah. Buddy, you're in the adults only section right now. Oh no, oh look at we're moving. Yeah, we've been moving. Oh, we sailed away. There was a whole party and everything. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know we were moving. <laughs> Alright buddy, first time on the aqueduct. You ready? Alright, It's gonna be great. Okay. Come on, bud. Good job, buddy. Do you need, a, do you need a, a wristband to let him know? All right, buddy, put it on so that you don't have to be uh, checked every time. There you go. Now they know that you're tall enough and we don't have to check ever again. Let's go. Yeah, show mommy. Put your feet up on top. There you go. You ready, Jackson? Yeah? Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Here we go. Whoa. Woo! Here we go. There's mommy. Where's mommy? Let's play some mommy. Big drop. Whoa. Oh, up the hill. Whoa, it's a little bit cold, buddy. Woo! All right, here comes another big one. Here it is. Woo! 
Alright, here we are in the in the light tunnel. What do you think, buddy? I like it! Do you like it? Yeah. Look at us, we're on top of the cruise deck. Look at that! The greatest. Whoa, that's a big splashdown. We did it, buddy. This is the end. Did you like it? Whoa! Alright, bud. Jackson. Watch for the right here. Watch for the green light, and that's when you go. Uh-oh, kids are fighting. I don't know why that kid pushed that him out of the way. Alright, that kid let Jackson go ahead of him. That was nice. Here he goes. There he is! Yeah! Yeah! I'm sorry, but like, all these firsts on water slides rule. Like, this is the greatest. Seeing Jackson go down water slides for the first time, the greatest. All right, here he comes. He went down backwards. A little bit, a little bit rough right now. We got some, some motion in the pools from some big waves that were hitting. All right, so we are all done with the slides and we are actually really late for dinner. We're about like 20 minutes late for dinner. Grandma and grandpa are already there, but we're headed there now. Oh my goodness, Goofy is wearing his Halloween costume up here. Ooh, but oh my goodness, skeleton Goofy. Look at him, beautiful. He's doing like a roaming. Oh no. This is the perfect spot for Goofy. Right here, the beautiful background. By the way, I love your costume. It is fantastic. Ooh, that was like the skeleton dance just then. That was awesome. Ooh, wow. He's doing Thriller. Is it okay if we do a selfie together? Let's do it. That's one thing I love about Disney Cruise Line is sometimes the characters will just be roaming. Like they don't have a set time. They're just like out and about. And like you can just kind of like get in there and meet Goofy really fast, even if there's a line. Like right now, Minnie is just kind of roaming around. So we can kind of go over to Minnie and talk to her. How's it going, Minnie? You having a good day? Yeah, I like your Halloween costume. Are you ready for the party? Where? Oh yeah. So then something like that happens where I did get to meet Minnie, but the meeting got cut short because there was somebody else there waiting for a photo too. And the attendant was like, Minnie, here's some other people that want a photo. So I didn't get to get a photo, but I did get to get, but I did get to get the video with her. So I'm trying to go fast because I'm really late for dinner. So we are again at the Royal Court. Sorry, it was kind of a rush to get in here, as you guys know, because we were outside meeting Goofy and Minnie. Well, we had to go down the slide a few times. I didn't actually get to go, so I will be going down the slide tomorrow with Jackson a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. It's like so, a momentous occasion that he's tall enough to go down the I slide. I know, that's what I said. So here's what we got. We got specialty drinks. We've got appetizers. Duck confit, lobster and jumbo shrimp, escargot, Gaston's escargot. Oh no. Deep fried brie? I guess so. Salads and soups. Bread service, of course. Pasta, salmon, duck, rack of lamb. That's what I got. Uh, the filet steak. But by the way, that's not filet mignon, it's just a filet of steak. Then we have vegetarian options and a lighter note. What did you get? I got the. the the lamb, the rack oh, of lamb. I have a lamb too. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh no, we got the we same ordered, thing. We ordered the same thing, but I got a bunch of appetizers. What'd you get for your appetizer? Brie. I got the brie, the escargot, and the lobster. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. All right, so my appetizers, I ordered a few appetizers because this is one of my favorite places for appetizers on the ship. I got the escargot, Gaston's escargot. It comes with a little teeny tiny baguette. Look how cute that is. What is this, a baguette for Oliver? I think so. But it is in uh, like herbs and garlic and olive oil and just butter and deliciousness. And then you eat it with your little tiny baguette. And then I also got, now there's not a lot of room on this table. So they, I ended up just putting these two together, but normally this would just be the shrimp and lobster, the chilled shrimp and lobster. But then I also got the fried brie <laughs> and I just set it on the side with the chutney, the little fruit chutney. So that's two appetizers in one. All right, this is how the brie comes plated. I got fried brie, 
with orange and cranberry chutney. Jackson got some chicken strips, french fries, one piece of broccoli, one piece of cauliflower, and one carrot. They actually made us specialty baby food right here. For Oliver, they've got some mashed sweet potatoes. And this is just applesauce, like out of a jar, regular old applesauce, but we were able to get they pureed some sweet potatoes. First thing that we have is the Chateaubriand roasted filet steak, crushed new potatoes with shallots, buttered green beans, red wine jus, and a Bernays sauce on the side. Then we also got the roasted rack of lamb that is cooked medium with potatoes, buttered Brussels sprouts, and burgundy rosemary sauce. My dad got the oven-baked salmon royale, crowned with king smoked salmon and horseradish crust, accompanied by saute Swiss chard, truffled cauliflower puree, and white wine beurre blanc. They put the lamb together like a little puzzle. Look at that. You just ruined the lamb's relationship. I don't know. I solved the puzzle. So yeah. wait, but how did you how did you eat it? I feel like lamb always sounds like a good idea until you get it and it's like kind of tricky to eat. No, it's easy. You just cut it off the bone. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that it's so loud in here. Yeah. I don't know if the camera is gonna convey how loud it is, but it is so loud. And I wonder if the second seating is as loud. Because I feel like it's quieter, I know it is. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, all the kids are here. In about 10 minutes, they're gonna light the pumpkin tree. So we decided to skip dessert and come out and see the pumpkin tree. Also like, shout out to this guy's suit jacket. This is great, where do you get this? I wanna buy it. Also, because it's a little bit rougher seas right now, all of the pumpkins are swaying back and forth, giving it a little bit of a, more of a spooky feel. Hello, you man? Greetings, welcome, yes. Oh, ah, uh, welcome. Well, come around. Come closer. Don't be afraid. I am the caretaker. You are here for the pumpkin tree, yes? We need to wake it up. The best way to do that is with a story. Just so happens I have a particularly spooky one in mind. My favorite is the legend of Sleepy Hollow. A certain Dutchman by the name of Ichabod Crane was making his way back home to the nearby hollow. The fog is starting tonight. I like this first form from an unmarked grave. Bring the power of nightmares unseen. Bring 
Confetti is great. It's like a black light in like bright orange. He's just filling up his hands with it. Look at that. Look at Pluto's candy corn hat and candy corn necklace. Oh buddy, we're wobbly. we're wobbly. Just watch Jackson like veer down the, the hallway to see how wobbly the ship is right now. You know if you had your magic band on, buddy, you could open your door. I didn't even it's inside here. I know. Alright, we just made it back to the room. Let's see what kind of animal we've got. Crab? It's a crab. It's a that crab. was a bit of movie magic. I came in and I turned on all the lights in here. Oh, we yeah. didn't just get back to the room. No, but this is the next time you're seeing us after dinner or after the pumpkin tree. Right. So kids are asleep. The spooky pumpkin tree. And actually, that was spookier than I thought it was going to be. Right. I don't remember them doing that kind of a show last time. Here's what I didn't understand. What? Why was the groundskeeper all about being scary? But then the pumpkin tree is like, I need smiles. Yeah, and the pumpkin tree's like, hello everybody. Mm -hmm. It's me, David S. Pumpkin Tree. tree. <laughs> that was good. I liked it. I like that there's like, I like the fact that there is a cast member on this ship mm -hmm. whose role is to be that guy. He's the, the caretaker is what he was called. The caretaker. Yeah. So he was very reminiscent of the, the guy at Haunted Mansion with the dog and like the, the lantern. Yeah, caretaker. Yeah. Well, that guy's the grave... Groundskeeper. Yes. Willie. <laughs> no. So. <laughs> oh, but dinner was delicious. It was delicious. We didn't have dessert, so we didn't... Well. Mm, number one Mickey Premium Bar right there. Oh, yeah, we have to, we have to keep track Gotta of keep all the track ice of cream. It. So that was number one. Oh, and one. all the cookies. I've only had one cookie today. Oh, okay. So, it was actually only a half a cookie. But, so we didn't have dessert, that's why we didn't show you that, because we were late. We were like, oh no, we gotta see the pumpkin tree. So we ran out of dinner, and we saw the pumpkin tree, and then we came back, and we were just starting to like unpack and stuff. And, um, we, yeah, we wanted to show you our animal. Today was great. Yeah. Today was a great first day of the cruise. Yeah. I would love to do an entire video solely pointing out the differences between the Walt Disney Suite and the Roy Disney Suite. Right. And they are vast. Yeah, it's they're so different. It's weird. They feel I know they're like mirrored, but they're completely different rooms. And I gotta say, spoiler alert: the Roy room is better. Roy Disney Suite this is, is better. Don't get me wrong. I know people are gonna get mad. And they're gonna say like, "Oh, you're being ungrateful for this room." This room is fantastic. Yeah. But the Roy room is where it's at. Right. If yeah. I had my choice, yeah, I'd pick the Roy room. Yeah. And we, we met the people that are staying in the Roy suite. And the people in between us. Oh, and the people. In, we met everybody. It was so yeah. great, actually. It was really funny. Um, and she was like, oh, I want to see the room. I want to see the, the Walt suite. So we're going to invite her over to see it um, at some point. But it's, yeah, like, there's so many differences. Right. So anyway, that'll be a whole a different video. The room is beautiful. The bathroom. I love the look of the bathroom. Right. I cannot wait to take a bath in that bathtub. But I'll tell you what. What? You know it's the same between both suites. What? Hot tub on the veranda. Oh, so I think because the kids are asleep, we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna say goodnight to you. We're gonna go into the hot tub and then and then we'll call it a night. Yeah. Should be pretty fun. Tomorrow is a packed day. We're doing something super special with Jackson. We've never done this before. You're doing it. I'm, I'm not invited. Well, you're doing something special too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So we're both, we're going to have a little mommy Jackson time, a little daddy Jackson time. But with mine, they said everybody can come. Oh. So if you want to come, you can. Oh, I do want to come. Yeah. Yeah. All, the baby had a great day as well. I think he's a cruise baby. Ooh. So. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.